Hey guys, I wanted to talk to you about cybernetics, which is basically like your body's internal computer system, which keeps you on track. So on track with being who it thinks you are. So a good example in uh, like regular life is when you're on a plane, um, the pilots are in the little box, whatever it's called, I don't know what it's called. Um, but the vast majority of the time, the plane is flying on autopilot. The pilots are only there in case something goes wrong. And the plane has an inbuilt cybernetic system, which enables the plane to, whenever it deviates from the course it's supposed to be going on, so it might get blown off by an unexpected gust of wind or something like that. The cybernetic system is there to make the plane come back to its normal line of where it wants to be. And we have a very similar system in our heads, which basically keeps us aligned with an identity which we hold for ourselves. So that might be, you know, I work seven till seven, I'm always tired, um, I can't cook, I struggle to eat healthily, um, I have to have a couple of drinks every night to relax. That, that might be the image which our brain is holding of ourselves because that's who we've perhaps been today. And we might then in our conscious mind decide that we want to change, we want to lose some body fat, we want to get stronger, we want to get rid of aches and pains. But we'll try and do that, that new thing which is going to enable us to get the thing that we want and then our cybernetic system kicks in and says, hang on, we've been blown off course here, let's just make sure we bring ourselves back to the identity which we know, which is the old one. And that's part of the reason why it can be so difficult to make changes because we are driven not to by our, our lizard brain, basically like our, our old brain. So whenever you want to try and change something about your life, being aware about this cybernetic system is really, really key because then you can catch it in the act. You can catch yourself being pulled back to doing the things which you used to do and represent perhaps an older version of you, not the you you want to be now or the you you want to be in future. And you can see that happening and you're not going to think then, oh, you know, I can't change. You know, this, this is just how I am. There's nothing I can do about it. Other people must be different. No, we're all exactly the same. And you now get to spot that little cheeky computer at its game and then stop it from doing it push through with that action even though it is uncomfortable and it does feel weird and doesn't feel completely right in order to then form a new identity for yourself. And something I think it's really cool to do alongside kind of being aware of the cybernetic system is to consciously consider what kind of identity that you want to have, how do you want to feel, how do you want to operate, how do you want to look, how do you want to move and it can be really helpful to take some time to sit down and write that out so you can be really conscious about where you're going what you want to do because you know you wouldn't approach an idea at work without a plan without a structure without processes and if you don't know your destination it's going to be really difficult to get there so considering what do you want the future you to look like and how can you bring those habits into the current you because the current you when it's functioning without this little cybernetic system is going to be representative of what your future you is going to be